Hey guys, it's a beautiful morning out here. Cold front came through last night, and so, uh, well, I guess you could call it cold front. I'm frozen, but Jason's doing okay <laughs> over there. Um, anyway, so we came out and made the first stand of the morning. I uh, started out uh, with with a howl, and uh, Jason was howling. He he kind of has a his howl was kind of short and sharp, like a challenge howl. We got three groups of coyotes howling back at us from just across the fence. We're, in a, we're actually in a uh, in a public uh, land field right here, but just across that fence is a cattle farm. And uh, so we come out here, we got this really nice head row over here that you can't see through, but every time we come out here, they're right across there. So we called them, we, we started the howls and they were howling from 150 yards away from us. They were right there. And uh, we waited for the sun to start finish coming up, gave another uh, challenge howl at them. And, and uh, then we turned on on the uh, we turned on the uh, Kenai crier, and and we were just waiting for a little bit, and, and it wasn't long. This one came in, actually came all the way around behind us. We were sitting on a ridge in the field, in the grass there. This one got all the way around, followed that ridge around, and uh, came in behind us, got our wind, and it was on its way out when uh, when Jason saw it, and I got to take the shot on it. Uh, so this is one that almost got away, but uh, it didn't today. <laughs> There's a very slight difference between a trained coyote and a dead coyote, and <laughs> we, we, we set the edge on it. So uh, thanks, uh, Laura and Reese, great calls, and uh, we're going to go see if Jason can't get one now. Good. I couldn't. That thing come right. I couldn't move. <laughs> I couldn't move either. Hey guys, thanks for joining us again today. Uh, we are on our second stand of the morning, and uh, this is actually our second coyote of the day. Um, first stand, we had uh, we howled one in. We actually howled and had three groups howl back, and then one came in. But uh, both stands, I've used the Keen Eye Crier from Reese Outdoors, and uh, this guy, her gal, actually I should say. Uh, came right in our lap. What, what happened was I used the Kenai Crier first sequence, um, and this thing was in within three minutes, uh, if that. And he come in, she come in right at us, and uh, Russell told me, so I got one to the left, and uh, I turned, and this thing's coming right at us. It's, you know, 40 yards from us. And we, uh, I turned on it uh, when I got a chance, because, like I said, it's coming right in at us. But yeah, three minutes, Kenai Crier, and uh, we had a little kind of a little storm come through last night a lot of clouds um, not much moon last night so uh, you know me and Russell said we've got to get out and we've got to get this thing uh, we got to get some coyotes and uh, we knew it was gonna be a good good morning but yeah let's uh, let's do another one I know we can I know we got uh, time for another one let's let's go make uh, three this is number two of the day and uh, let's go get number three thanks for joining in fact thanks
sir. <laughs> Are you taking a cat for a morning walk? I should just throw it in this pen here.